So uh, yeah, we uh, we good on this. So so we what did. did we decide as far as the the segments? We decided uh, to just sort of oh, uh, so the segments doing... like I will lead the news and you will lead hardware. All right, I, I will attempt and to we lead will hardware. All, we will uh, we will all <laughs> we'll back each other up. You will back each other I'm, up. I'm gonna need a little bit of that. I can already uh, tell. And then we will all kind of um, jump in for uh, the apps. Okay. And then uh, I you know. Sounds good. Yeah, once out. you know, once we get going, it, it all kind of falls into place. We should probably mention one thing really quick, just to those who are still wondering why this is not an actual show yet. We should reiterate that basically Leo is, as you know, probably I would imagine at this point is not in town. He's been gone for a few weeks, and he ha we he have hasn't his, seen this. We have his blessing no for this show, but yeah. he has not seen anything that we've done yet. He doesn't know what we're doing. So we're I kind said, of. Oh, can you contribute and you know record a help and how to for every week, and we'll pre-record it and we'll you know drop it into every show. Loop it and in there. He's like, well, that sounds great, but I haven't seen your show. Right. <laughs> I know. So we're kind of play. That's that's what all this is about. We're playing around with the kind of the format of it, allowing you guys obviously to pitch in as much as possible and kind of help us to formulate that. And I fully intend on pulling all of the good reviews and and uh, comments yeah. and things that we're getting through Twitter and all that stuff to kind of be able to give Leo uh, a an email when he gets back just basically saying, hey, people like it. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Exactly. So and then so it's not like we're, we're holding out and we're total perfectionists in this. We actually can't release it in a feed yet we until can't. until the big boss uh, says we can. Yeah. So, so that's what we're doing. That's why it's been like this. But we thank Ron for joining us. Absolutely. We thank you. We definitely want Ron to be you know, um, on the show as much as he can. Well, that's, that's the irony. Leo's going to watch us and be like, you guys are great, but get rid of the sideburn kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. It's he might happen. just say, um, let's just replace all of you with yep. uh, someone else. With um, green androids. Yeah, with green They'll androids. They'll run the show. And with thumbs. <laughs> with thumbs. Dude, that, that commercial's still creepy. But anyways. Uh, so let's start the show and see if we could... Um, emulate what it might really be like right? more or less yeah all right so like let's just say okay okay and eileen you're gonna take the top <laughs> okay <laughs> is that this okay is already funny okay anyways uh <laughs> yay monday yay monday <laughs> all right three two welcome to all about android your show which is all about Android. That's I'm Eileen. It's, it's part of the name. I'm Jason Howell. And with us today is Ron Richards VS. Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for having me. Yo, thank always you. a pleasure, man. Thank you, Ooh. thank you. We want you to be on the show as much as you can, man. Sure. So uh, normally we'd have a uh, in the world where we have a real show that's in a feed, we would have an open with mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. In a in a world. In a world <laughs> <laughs> where there is a real show. <laughs> and we're no longer in beta. That's right. Um, no, the thing is, we do have a couple of submissions for uh, music. Yeah, and that's right. And we'd like to play it now with a faux graphic that our friend Tony <laughs> well, Wang right. the upstairs. Gra <laughs> the graphic. I forgot Ron, about that. I haven't seen this yet. yet. Oh, I haven't. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> let's play. Let me the pull song this up here. With the graphic. I mean, eventually we'll have something moving and, and whatnot. Let me see if I can full screen this graphic <laughs> the, here. Hold the on. Magic one of second. TV right the here. Magic. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I don't so, have it like loaded in into anything uh, that's we have, like perfectly fit because it's totally not the right aspect ratio. But it'll give you an idea. Let me uh, load this up here and play the first theme. So let's see. Killing time. All right, the first theme was sent to us. We got two themes. We, yes. we made a call last week for uh, some themes to be written, and, and it's still obviously open. This is a work in progress. Uh, the first theme that I'm going to play is uh, our friend friend of the show, Joshua Caleb, who said, I finally finished the intro tune. It's probably not even close to what you were planning on, but it's a nifty tune. and was composed and rendered entirely on the Android phone. Now, he had mentioned what he wrote it with, but not in the email. So, Joshua, if you throw that to me in the chat, I can mention it later. But I will go ahead and play the theme, I hope, if I'm playing the correct one here. I like and how he said, I finally finished the intro tune. Like, he's been working on it for ages. Yeah, like, well, he finally he, finished it. <laughs> exactly. He, he had mentioned to me uh, via Twitter that he was working on something with his Android phone. So, we're going to go ahead and take the image, and you guys are going to cue the laughter. Because, uh, yeah, it's pretty silly. <laughs> 
It's uh, you know, it's it's fitting that it's Valentine's Day, and it looks a little pally right That's there. That's right. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and uh, all right, and, yeah. You ready to go? Here we go. This is Joshua Caleb's theme. Called Cord Bot is the name of it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going oh, on? Oh yeah, there? yeah. Hey, oh, welcome, dip, dip, welcome dip, dip, to All About Android. Welcome. That's right. So that would be the theme. Okay. From Joshua Caleb. Yeah. So the photo, just a little bit of background, is, is uh, um, pretty ridiculous. I gotta say, <laughs> it's kind well, of it's embarrassing. It's an old actually. photo of Jason. Uh, and I never see you wear glasses, honestly. With white hair. And um, quite honestly, <sighs> it is a, a <laughs> that is Tom's body. <laughs> and Jason's head is photoshopped. <laughs> uh, you know, Tom and, Merritt, my and Stephen 3X in the chat room saying, where did you find that freaky photo of, of Reagan 01? Um, that's like at the top of Google image search. It's, uh, <laughs> it's from when I was at San Francisco State University and I was picked to be one of the hood recipients. And they did this whole like, I think it's I think it's showing up at the top because it's part of an official thing by, somebody you know what I mean? Like the, how they rank it. I don't somebody know. said you're the, it's the oh. dude from Superbad, J-Man. Oh, man. That photo. <laughs> I hate that photo. Of all the images that, that, that pop Cole. up in a Google image search, that's the one that anytime I see it, I'm like, God, why is that still out in the internet? I hate that stuff. Okay, <laughs> like the, right. the difference in lighting on your face. I know. Like, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> how, how about the fact that I'm so white, it's like <laughs> clipping. <laughs> It's it, it's clipping the image. That's how white I am in that picture. Oh, man. I'm apparently I outside and Eileen, today. you're inside. So. Oh, dear. Well, we All have right. a second song, right? That's right. We do. And this one uh, was submitted by Brian Tate. Uh, he says, I love the idea of a twit Android show, naturally, as I'm an Android user and fan. Uh, I'm attaching some music I did that's been collecting dust for a while. I had this bright idea after watching the third brainstorming installment of the beta show after you mentioned not having a theme song. Eureka! Uh, I hope you enjoy, and in true nature of an Androidian, it is open source and royalty free. Nice. Laugh out loud. So, I'll go <laughs> ahead and pull up the image again, and we'll, uh, we'll let this one play here, you know, so you can kind of take it all in. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Yo, it's the Android show. <laughs> oh no. All about Android. It's got some good uh good production quality to it. It's got a little strokes kind of feel to it kind of. Yeah. Like idea. You know, I think I can't look at that image anymore. I think it just needs to be a little faster. Yeah, yeah it I feels, really like it, but yeah. I think, you know, the beats per minute, just a little, just crank it up a little bit more. See you with yeah. the beats per minute. <laughs> I tried to be all DJ-esque. I don't know yeah. what I'm talking about. It makes it I like, sense. I like that this one has been collecting dust for a little while, so they chose that. <laughs> That's perfect <laughs> for us. I thought the production quality of it actually was was pretty good. I did too. Um, mm. I agree, though. It feels a little slow. Like, you just kind of wanted to ha have a little bit more speed to it, but... I think it could totally work. I like the um, tone of it, mm -hmm. you know? He's like, fine, I'm never sending him music ever again. <laughs> oh, no, we were we were rapping to it just earlier. Yeah, yeah you got us to rap. Ron, what do you Nobody think? <laughs> did you uh, like it? Well, I, the first one, if he did it on his phone, that's I think that's admirable. I know, isn't that yeah. pretty cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I think they both, they're, they're good. They're a good start. There you go. <laughs> cool. Yeah, good start. Right. Well, the uh, you know the challenge is still out there, um, and I'm not saying that these won't be selected because these are two mm -hmm. uh, very you know very good submissions. But we would love to see what else you got. So go ahead and email us. You can do that by sending an email to allaboutandroidshow at gmail .com if you think you have what it takes to write a theme song for do an Android it. show. You might also notice in the lower third three four seven. Show AAA. Yes, that would be our number if you want to leave us a voicemail. Leave us a voicemail. We might, uh, <laughs> or, we might that play That's the best letter combination we could come up with. Or if you need, if you need a tow truck to your location. <laughs> you <could> also... <laughs> Man, we're going to run into this repeatedly, we're aren't just, we? Sorry, it's just a great joke. No, it's, it's, just... it's true. It's true. I'm going to hand out membership this cards. The entire soon. time. I think this is just what we have in store for a show that, that uh, ends up being AAA. So. <laughs> hey, All right, let's well, uh, dip into the news. Yeah, yeah? let's do it. Let's do it. 
Okay, well, uh, first piece of business, Google begins pushing out two-step verification to all account holders. And I, you know, this is obviously new news. And I wonder, Jason, if this actually makes you feel <laughs> more, secu secure. more secure. Last week we were talking about security. You're like, I don't know, with the apps and the in-app purchases, blah, blah, blah. Does this help at all? Uh, sure. Well, I'm actually still waiting for this to be granted on my account. I don't have it yet either. But. Um, I don't have it either. Yeah. yeah, we're just still kind of waiting for it. But if it may, if it's any consolation, once I do have it, I'll be signing up for it. Okay. So it makes me feel a little bit better. I think they're they're different though, because this this is like, well, no, actually, no, they are related. Actually, if you have this phone. going, yeah, yeah, exactly. But if you're already verified for a particular browser, and I think what what this does is it keeps you locked in for up to thirty days from mm -hmm. the browser that you do this from, or however long. So I guess if you take my totally paranoid situation from last week and go with it it's very possible that that browser might already be verified. I, th okay. I think uh, why we haven't gotten it yet is because we need to install the Google Authenticator app, which is, it's, oh. it, there's a oh. link in there. Yeah. Yep. So you install that on your phone and then, so you install then that it's on your phone up and that's on your what account. generates the code. And then when you enable it on the website, that's when you put, punch in the code that's on your phone. So, okay. and I just like the word authenticator. It looks, like, it's yeah, all, it looks it's, like a robot. It's, it's the authenticator, it's powerful, right? It's a powerful <laughs> word. I love and that. And it's got the it's got the Google logo and the and like the metal. Like they've got. It looks like a. It's like really secure. Like I, I feel this. I think this helps with the security issue a lot, actually. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just just by the image alone. Some people. Yeah. Exactly. Don't. Yes. Now, I was reading the uh, comments uh, in the Android and Me article here, and some people just don't understand the need for l another layer on top yeah. of you know, authentication that may already be within the app. But it's I mean, it's not some, for everybody. It's not. I could, I can imagine somebody being like, look, I just want to get into my email. I don't want to have to worry about this send a code to my phone thing, which is essentially what it does. Mm -hmm. uh, it sends a verification f uh, code directly to your phone so that somebody else, you know, potentially they're not going to have your phone and trying to spoof you that way. So, um, but for the Uber paranoid or the people who just want to feel like they're being a little bit more secure, I think it's a great, great step and I'll totally do it. All right. Well, I'm speaking down. of security, Motorola just uh, bought 3LM. Uh, and 3LM was a, uh, from the GigaOM article here, a stealthy startup by ex-Google employees that builds security software for Android. Are you feeling more secure even? <laughs> sure. Even? I just want to make sure you feel secure. <laughs> wow, I, I, I'm being painted as a, as a total paranoid. It's so not we true. I was just playing the... You know, we, yeah. play, we were going to be characters right, here, cool. right? So you're the I'll Uber be par paranoid. paranoid howl. That'll right. be my you're going to be yeah. in a nuclear shell, yeah. you know, come With a tinfoil hat on, and yeah. just, you know... <laughs> I'll work on like a big glass ball that I can just roll myself into every day. And that's my protective barrier for the show. Um, Boy in the plastic bubble. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we, can get a, we can get a horse to jump over you at the end of the show. <laughs> Ooh, that's there's a good a, there, title there's already. There's a dated reference. <laughs> I know, huh? There's a good title already, The Paranoid Android. Ooh, yeah, for the I show. like that. Uh, I don't know much about uh, 3LM other than what I've heard or what I read in this article. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know. More well, they're stealthy. They're stealthy. You're not supposed to know anything about yeah, them. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Stealth. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this only rolling out to the Motorola phones, or is this just Android in general? I don't uh, quite know, but it seems like it would just be Motorola this is the at this point. But. First acquisition since Motorola. They recently did their split and became two separate entities, and this mm. is Motorola Mobility their mobile arm. So um, it says the acquisition will help Motorola as it looks to expand the presence of Android into corporate settings. So. That's kind of always, and always on the mind right now. Is, paranoid are yeah. those corporate people? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> are they go? Are they going after BlackBerry with this then? I mean, like, is this a is this a move against the whole rim thing? Like, because mm. they they dominate corporate. Everyone I know that works at a corporate, like, they always have to have that BlackBerry. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Ooh. I think the move is to you know grab that corporate sharehold. So yeah. um, whatever they can do, mm -hmm. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, uh, Motorola Zoom up for pre-order at Best Buy this Thursday for possibly one thousand one hundred and ninety-nine dollars. I don't know. This is pretty That's much fake. this is yeah. debunked al already at this point, actually. Um, yeah. And I think companies do this a lot, where they have hardware coming out. They need to be able to do these placeholders and everything like that. What are they going to do? Put up a price that's lower than the real price, and then when the real price comes out, people are like, "Hey." You know, what's that all about? It should be cheaper than that. So they put this price out that's ridiculously higher, uh, knowing that when it actually rolls out, it comes in at the, the regular price. And it's almost like mentally you feel like you're getting a deal. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even though twelve hundred dollars for the Zoom of all, of all things is just uh, ridiculous. Not getting it if it's that much. Mm. Eight hundred dollars either. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Android two point three point three brings expanded NFC features. Mm -hmm. NFC. None of you know what that is. None of you have used it. None of you have used it. You might know what it is. I know what it is. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say none of you know what that is. <laughs> Near field communication. And there, there is actually, so, so let's see here. What is the, the first phone that has the near field? Is that the, it's one I, of the I, Galaxy S, right? I think the, I think the Nexus S, the we one I got it. is supposed mm -hmm. to have it. Yeah. We have it, um, oh. but we don't have a real place to well, use it. But. Well, it's right. funny is that I was, I was actually down a couple of weeks ago. I was down at the Googleplex down in Mountain View mm -hmm. and I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, there's like, I don't, I wasn't for sure about it, but I thought that there might be some active NFC tags on. Mm -hmm. So like I pulled out my phone, I opened it and I got nothing. So, hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I was given a quick demo of the NFC tag with uh, like a QR code and you know, yeah. you just mm -hmm. kind of, you don't have to launch anything. You just put your phone up against the piece of paper and boom. So theoretically, Nifty. you put up your phone to, you know, um, I don't know, uh, to a card, ride the bus. A card slider. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say the clipper, the clipper card here yeah. in San Francisco. Well, that would mm -hmm. be great if you just hold my phone up to the turnstile and I'm walk right in. That'd exactly. be awesome. That's what I see it used yeah. for. You yeah. know, maybe, That's what they do in Japan, right? To buy yep. like uh, soda pop. Exactly. So, I want to buy, I want to <laughs> pop. I want to buy stuff with this. Cling. Yeah, I have no doubt that it's, it's going to happen eventually. It's probably going to be a slow rollout. I also saw some sort of a rumor a while back that the next, you know, of course, they're all rumors about the iPhones, but that the next iPhone right. would possibly have <laughs> NFC. And that's exactly. just the type of thing, like it Push or it. not, that pushes something like that into the mainstream yeah. and gets people behind it. Yeah. Android 2.3.3 uh, will have the full featured NFC uh, read and write API. Uh, which will work with almost any standard NFC tag in use today. In use today being the caveat there, which is there isn't a whole lot of it in use. All four of them. Yeah, exactly. But the <laughs> another part of this, which I thought was kind of interesting, is that it has initial support for peer-to-peer -peer connections with other NFC devices. So you saw the touchstone mm -hmm. that HP did where you can kind of bump uh you know your phone up to the tablet and it transfers data over mm -hmm. or whatever and there are android apps that do this as well uh, virtually by the way but um this would uh potentially allow for that too so that's kind of cool i don't know how useful that is in a day-to-day -day thing it, you know but well i cool. think you know it's like with texting nobody here i remember 10 years nobody ago 10 texts. years ago uh, I was yeah. in the Philippines and, um, God, even longer than that. And everybody there, my cousin was texting mm -hmm. and texting wasn't a big deal here yet. And now lo and behold, boom, boom we're yep. all texting. So well, and, you, and, rolling. and one of you said that uh, over over in Asia or J Japan, Japan, that's Japan, what said. Uh, they're, they're all using the NFC. It's almost like a window into, uh, you know, five years from now. <laughs> I know. And they we're seem to be so much further ahead so of far behind. We're yeah. like the last people to ever get to use this stuff. It's like, I want something that we innovate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, finally, each user, each Android user will make Google $9.85 per year in 2012. You're welcome, Google. I just made you <laughs> close to 10 bucks by being an Android user. Well, I think I think extra, <laughs> that number extrapolated out to the number of users. That's 1.3 billion Huge. in revenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, which is huge. Not nine dollars doesn't sound like a lot per user, but in aggregate, that's a that's a ton of money. Oh, absolutely. It is a ton of money well, and they that. have the the little uh, graph here that kind of shows, you know, uh, twenty twelve around ten. What would that be? Ten dollars per user uh -huh. uh, versus the search, which is about twenty five. If that kind of puts it into perspective, and you you know, that obviously, that Google search is, mm -hmm. you know, ma basically what they run their business on. So that's a pretty sizable chunk in comparison. I know. No? I wonder. I wonder what the what the iPhone equivalent is. Like how much? You know, like what? Mm -hmm. So basing the cut that Apple takes on apps, how much is each iPhone user making them per year? Like, mm -hmm. That's an interesting comparison. So. Yeah, totally. Especially in light of the fact that they might be coming out with a stripped down iPhone. It's like, does that mean that they wouldn't be tapped into the app marketplace? And in which case, right. aren't they kind of shooting themselves in the foot if they do that? And also, I think this nine dollar this nine dollar per user number is from advertising revenue, not necessarily from app sales. Yeah, so that's right. something interesting too. I know iAds has kind of dragged, and the whole you know iOS advertising ecosystem isn't as uh, evolved as uh, Google's is yet. So mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. All right, well, there's, let's move on to hardware. There was been a Ooh. lot of announcements this week because of the Mobile World Congress. I got to find my way to go there. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know I'm going to Madrid soon. I'm sounding like, oh. But, oh, um, you? Uh, but Barcelona well, is pretty darn cool. Yeah, first <laughs> up uh, in the little slew of hardware news here, we have Samsung News. Uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 is what they're calling the, well, guess, you know, take a wild guess, the 10.1 screen uh, Galaxy Tab version. They're first to run uh, Honeycomb. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of looks nifty. I have a little video here. I'll go ahead and pull that up if it'll load. Oh, it won't load. Hello. The, ba uh, the back of it looks cool. I, I was impressed by the back of it. From right. The video. It's got, yeah. yeah, it yeah. feels like you can hold it, you know? Yeah, because um, yeah, on the other Galaxy it Tab, it was all slick and, yeah, and uh, yeah. mirror-y. Mm. Uh, it's know. a bad name, though. It's a bad name. What? Galaxy, Galaxy Tab? Galaxy Tab? 10, no, 10.1. Yeah, oh, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, yeah it's We're so just, confusing. Yeah, yeah, it is very confusing. I mean, it, it's not when you understand why they're calling it that. It's just, it's just not, I don't know. What You're going to have more than one Galaxy Tabs at 10.1, right? You're going to have the next. So is it going to be 10.12? You know what and, I mean? Like, 10.1B? 10.2, 10.3, and it gets bigger and, and bigger and bigger. I feel like we've always had this like adopted like when there's a number that's the version number. Exactly. You know? yeah. So yeah. So going with the going with the the screen size as the number is just I don't know weird. But yeah, it's strange. Samsung. But it looks good. Um, yeah. You know, it's interesting that they have bumped up the size. Although I think they'll still have the seven inch size, right? Uh, I would imagine so, and yeah. hopefully they'll come out with a seven inch size that actually has the honeycomb, which is what everybody's going to be looking for. Yeah, that'd uh, be nice going forward. Um, and then, of course, I'm waiting for the video to load here. We have <laughs> dun, 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 the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is going to be releasing in uh, Europe uh, before it releases in the U.S. Um, but it's the basically the next step in the Galaxy S uh, line of phones. Dual core, one gigahertz CPU, 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus, um, and that's coming this month in Europe. That is, is this, a thin phone. It is very thin. It's like yeah, it's, you can cut people with it. Is this a thin. phone you would be interested in getting, Jason? I I would Ooh, hesitation, it, hesitation. I would if it wasn't Samsung, to be honest, okay. because I don't like how kind of how Samsung has uh, treated their their support and their updates for their phones. They've kind of had some some issues with keeping some of their phones that you would expect to get these updates quickly. Um, you know, keep keeping them in the in the past version wise, and mm -hmm. that's just really important to me. I don't know. I, I'm wondering if I'm ever going to be satisfied. I'm ever going to find a phone get that I really. Phone. You're going to be with your droid forever. <laughs> me and my droid. That's Just right. My droid. That's right. So we'll see. <laughs> Told you it's Monday. I don't know. <laughs> it's wacky, but no. But hey, hey. As a, I, I was, you know, I, I the, the, the Galaxy S or the Nexus S was my first Samsung phone, and I was skeptical, and I've got no complaints at all so far. So. Yeah, you're like you're liking it. Well, and you're on you're on the the current version. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm on the latest, yeah, latest mm -hmm. and greatest. But hey, man, you know this even this phone is a little thick. You know what I mean for yeah. for the size of it compared to compared to how big uh, how thin that phone looks. I would I would jump all over that phone in a second. I'm thinking that too. Yeah. What is it? Eight point zero megapixels in the camera. I don't the fact know, that it's running a one gigahertz dual core, which I'm pretty sure was the same processor in my desktop like seven years, six years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Like that blows my mind. That's crazy. So, so, and that's that's this is a good question that I was thinking with uh, thinking about a little bit earlier today. So these dual core uh, Android phones are now starting to become a reality, and they're getting out there and everything like that. The question that when when we first started hearing about dual core Android phones was, oh yeah, that sounds great, but what about the battery life? Has the battery life totally suffered from these things? Like, are there reports that the battery life on these dual cores are actually not that good? That's a good question. I haven't heard anything, and yeah, I, I, can only, I. I can only assume that battery life, the battery life technology is evolving along mm -hmm. with the processors. Mm -hmm. I mean, like so. you know, looking at the you know looking at devices like the iPad and stuff like that that have a much longer battery life than if they'd come out two years ago. I think they've got they they're. If it was a, if it was a problem, I feel like we'd hear about it. Yeah, exactly. Especially at this point, we would definitely hear about it and be like, yeah, yeah. dual core on one hand, horrible battery life on the other, and we're certainly not hearing those reports, and that's a big deal. So, yeah. um, cool. Well, other other uh, bits of news that happened. Actually, I think this happened over the weekend. The mm -hmm. Sony Xperia Play, which which has been threatening uh, <laughs> for quite a while, it's been the worst kept secret in the world. Uh, well, actually, so first of all, let's start with the pro, the pro, which is yeah. basically their, you know, kind of the uh, the business, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. focused uh, type of Sony Ericsson uh, phone to kind of be, you know, alongside the play for which is more for gaming. But um, yeah, I don't know. What do you what do you guys think about this? I really didn't read very much about uh, this one. I mean, okay. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not excited about this phone, but... Yeah, um, it doesn't grab me. You know, those of you who really need a keyboard, maybe, and, and if you're Sony fans... I'm definitely um, not one that needs the keyboard. That and I know. it also comes in white. <laughs> <laughs> trying to sell it here. I know, there's yeah. something that's, you know, there's... Uh, you know, they're branding HD next to the camera. I mean, really, it's just another phone that does this versus what they followed it up with, um, which is the Play. And that's, of course, like I said, the worst kept secret ever. I'm trying to load the video here so we can kind of see a little bit of it in action. As long but as it's it, not the commercial. That creepy no, no, commercial no. with the thumbs. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that was the creepy. Yeah, the, yeah, the grafting. The yeah, that was weird. Oh, no. now, this, is, this is the phone that's targeted after um, uh, PlayStation users, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's branded with PlayStation, though. Of course, they don't call it the PlayStation phone. It's the Sony Xperia Play and PlayStation. It seems to to be more of kind of like a platform on which these phones are, uh, you know, tied into as opposed Imagine to Imagine how much they'd sell if they call this the PlayStation phone. Yeah. Well, you know, well, it, and it's running it's running Android and it's it means that it's capable with running the PlayStation suite uh, that you're able to kind of load onto the phone. And I'm not sure that all Android phones are are able to do that. So maybe that's kind of why the differentiation. I, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm it's got those button, those shape buttons. That's always what's turned me off with the PlayStation was the, yeah. the zero and the X and the square and the triangle. Just give me eight. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a, oh. Well, I, I, I can't say that that's turned me off, but I always look like I am not. I have no muscle memory when it comes to those shapes. You it's know? like you need to be Rain Man to play the PlayStation. That's why <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just like, yeah. wow, Rain Man. <laughs> uh, and I guess the big deal is that it is going to be shipping in March. Okay, right. So, so next month, and it's going to be on Verizon. So oh, you uh, could get this phone. I, not so yeah. much. <laughs> Another pause, Jason has. I don't know. I actually, I actually don't mind the idea of having a phone that has dedicated controllers because, like I said, I have the Motorola Droid. It has the slide-out QWERTY keyboard, and I never use it. The only time I ever use that slide-out keyboard is if I've, like, set up controls for a game. And, I mean, mm -hmm. mind you, I don't game with my phone a whole lot, but that's been the only time I ever use it. So, I guess, maybe. I'll, I'll wait and kind of see how the reviews are on this and how people are thinking about it and hopefully get to play with one maybe over the course of the next month or two. Um, and then what else do we have here? We have, hold on, I got to catch up. Oh, right. So, you remember hearing about all the, the Facebook phone stuff and mm -hmm. Facebook vehement, vehemently denying that it exists and everything. This is somewhat old news. This came out middle of last year. Uh, but it's interesting to talk about nonetheless. INQ has uh, has a Facebook phone, the thing that supposedly doesn't exist. And it is it is running Android. It's basically... From from all accounts, it's a new front end in the same way that you know HTC has Sense as their front end, and all the other phones kind of are skinning their own phones. This is more or less just you know uh, the Facebook front end, which is kind of silly. We all have a Facebook app mm -hmm. on our phones, and it does all the things that you really need a Facebook uh, app to do. But um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I guess I understand doing this because they probably could sell a decent chunk of these to people who just don't care. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. I'm not a heavy Facebook user, so I'm curious to know from those those of you out there who are heavy who Facebook users, it. are you just going to, you know, on your Facebook page, bye, you know? I, I'm wondering if this gets you guys excited out there. I don't know. I, I mean, I, if you if you look at if you look at people, I mean, because there's the whole contacts. There's like people put their phone numbers in their Facebook profile, and then mm -hmm. the Facebook app can sync with your contacts. If it's integrating that, and it, like all like the real diehard Facebook users are using Facebook Chat and Facebook Messages, I could understand that. Mm -hmm. But and maybe we're just too old and out of it. But like I, I'm not on Facebook nearly enough to justify it to be the yeah. entire you know phone you know revolve around the entire phone. So. Whereas I guess but, it's the same thing that you know I'm excited that I have a Google phone because everything. Yep. Syncs perfectly. Mm -hmm. you know, now, calendar you, and contacts. And right, right, right. So. You give me the Twitter phone and I'll jump all over that. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being serious. I'm like, wow, Ron. <laughs> we should Shut mention it. that it's actually not called the Facebook phone. It's, it's the INQ Cloud Touch. And another interesting part about this phone is that it's going to be replacing the native Android music player, which we can all agree sucks, yes. uh, with Spotify. Uh, but of course, that also means that right now Spotify is not in the U.S., so right. it's launching in Europe. Um, it's like it, a big tease of a phone. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, oh, that would be great. Yeah, so I, I guess we'll see. It, it also mentions in here that the pricing is going to be pretty low, like as little as $50 with a contract. So it's not in, a super expensive In phone. that video, it looks like it fits really nicely in your 
in your palm. I like Looks that. Looks smaller. You know? yeah. 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 Almost like a wide iPhone as well. But <laughs> <laughs> it's the wide iPhone you never got. Uh, and a then unicorn. let's see here. What else do we have? We have the LG Optimus. Uh, we got to play series. this video. This video is awesome. Is obnoxious. Do I skip past the beginning stuff? Uh, no, you can start at the top. Just go ahead it's and start from the good. top. Um, I'm curious With to know loud, what you guys annoying think techno of this. music as well. Yeah. Okay. 8.9 inch display, dual core processor for those of you. Uh, honeycomb platform. Yeah, they better have honeycomb going forward. <laughs> Any tablet that comes out with honeycomb is DOA as far as I'm concerned. That's a cool commercial. Wait, there's more. Yeah, oh, that's just the beginning. It's, uh, <laughs> they really take advantage of the splooshy and the splashy in this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's LG. They, they always do that. I though. know. And they it use... Looks, it looks more vertical. It looks like a phone uh, uh, aspect ratio. Doesn't it? One hand grip. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Well, no, you you might. It says most optimized for one hand grip mobility yeah. and viewing experience. So, yeah, it's probably a little bit ratio. narrower. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There you, just in case you didn't, you don't remember it, dual core. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it dual yeah. core? Oh, my God. Uh, it is dual core. It is dual yes. core. Okay, good. Oh, hey. Oh, by the way, it's dual core. <laughs> Does that mean it's Check faster? Check out dual core yeah. versus single core. Check it out. And yeah, they got the spec you know fighter with the guy core? that kind of looks Apple. like Steve Jobs. You know who's dual core? This LG. Yeah. Aww. All right. So does LG excite any of us? 3D video recording. Oh, those, those, that's those. Ah, so they do have oh. the 3D in this tablet. 3D, I missed that. 3D. All right. So it's recording in 3D? That's insane. Apparently, yeah. Why? <laughs> because everything's 3D now, Ron. Yeah, no, exactly. But, like, Seriously, why would you ever need that in your tablet? Like you're gonna go around holding it, going like, because eventually everyone is gonna have 3D TVs, and you're gonna uh -huh. want to, you know, hook this device up to your TV uh -huh. and play it, and uh -huh. then you'll wear your glasses. Do you and really watch think it. we're gonna all wear glasses and watch 3D TV? Like I, I don't think that's. Gonna, I don't think we're gonna. I mean, have a whole other discussion. I don't but think yeah, we're gonna it's... have to wear glasses, but you're right. That's a whole other yeah. discussion. Well, that was a very slick video. I yeah, have to say. and I have yet personally. I don't know about you guys. I have yet to see 3D on a mobile device, and I hear that it's not that bad. Like I really actually want to see the Nintendo 3DS, the not Nintendo because 3D is going to bring this like whole level of productivity to it, but if it if it's actually convincing and com and somewhat compelling to look at, I why not? If it does it. In fact, speaking of that, we have. LG Optimus 3D, and this is kind of the user interface that is in 3D. This is uh, their 3D phone that's definitely, a, you know, a side side Easy. shoot to the tablet that you just saw. Um, and obviously, we're not getting the full effect here. But, you know, if it can, why not? You, you know, know I, mean? I can tell you as um, having firsthand played with the Nintendo uh, 3DS, mm -hmm. it works. Yeah. That. I mean, okay. believe it or not, it. I want to see it. It works. And Do you I need to wear playing, glasses or no? Nope. You don't no. need to wear glasses. Wow, really? I saw uh, a quick demo and then I played a little, you know, sort of point and shoot aug augmented reality kind of game. You yeah. don't need glasses. It didn't hurt my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, uh. I was excited to see a little Zelda in there. Link showed up and then his sword looked like it was going to pop out and stab me. I swear, yeah. without using my. <laughs> I mean, they really uh, say the small. Without using any glasses. The small size of the screens on, on mobile is, you know. Uh, lends itself to the glasses-free 3D experience. And I would just want to see it before I judge it. Maybe that's the new thing I'm waiting for. Hmm? Yeah. 3D. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what's what going to take me into next year. Is You're going to have a 3D keyboard that slides out, right? That's what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll have a Pico projector on the bottom that puts a keyboard onto the desk, and that's That'd my 3D cool. keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that doesn't that isn't in this phone, by the way, just uh, to reiterate. <laughs> That's uh, just conjecture. Okay, right. so I think that's uh, that's hardware, isn't it? Yeah, let's move on to apps. Dun, Do we play? Dun, have dun. we decided to play the Android Arena part now? At the just, at the beginning of the segment. Yeah, because we're going to talk about apps. Sure, let's Here we do. Well, isn't that isn't that the, isn't that your? It's the when you. All right. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I had already this pressed play. The Android Arena. Love it. Nice. Isn't that more appropriate for the battle drone part? When the, yeah, when it the, is. You know, yeah. you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we got we got to figure all this stuff out. <laughs> you're, you're right. It is really just about the the battle. But I know uh, if the apps come, you know, quickly before it, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. So well, what do we have? We have a couple of new apps that I wanted to talk about. First, I wanted to talk about this new app called Androidify, and this might actually solve our graphics for the show. Oh, really? um, because you yeah. can basically make yourself an Android. I'd like to show you my Android, if possible. 
Where, uh, Jason, where can I get to it? Um, you can see oh. it on my phone. I, I made guess. one this morning. And, Weird. Uh, let's see. There I am. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's pretty awesome. I was actually going to wear my chucks and I didn't this morning, <laughs> but I made this at home. It's really easy to you, do. Wow, you did really well at, uh, like at my hair? choosing you know, your shirt. You're wearing yeah, red I and black. I was wearing red today, uh -huh. so I went ahead and wore the red and I'm wearing my jeans. And your, your face is green today. My face and... is green, exactly. The <laughs> oh, only thing I didn't do was um, you know, properly was wear the right shoes. And I had yeah, that's been okay. planning to wear my chucks, but I, I didn't today. Thank, so, thankfully for um, you, we don't have shoe cam on this show. No so shoe you're cam. all good. So it's really easy. Here, let me show you how to make um, yourself an Android. And then you could even <laughs> choose to pick several colors. You don't have to do the green. I'm just going to keep green. Um, hair. Let's see. Oh, nice. Jason. This actually you know, is kind of like manga, it. right? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm literally doing mine right now. Are you this, really? This, yeah, it's a little I more fun than I thought I can't wait to see yours. <laughs> it is so much fun. I have to thank Matt Cuts for tweeting this out uh, this morning. That's how I, I found out about it. I'm trying to look for a Jason here. Hmm. <sighs> What well, you if you think? if you go by the image that we saw at the beginning of the show, it's just <laughs> big hair. Um, okay, there, so there the, you go. It's it's right above this one here. There you go. Okay, there's Jason. <laughs> that would be me from uh, the picture. Of the okay, you're wearing of the show. blue, yeah. so let's pick that. And then uh, you're wearing jeans, right? So um, where's the jeans? Let's just pick uh, that. <laughs> And then uh, shoes. What do you got on? What are your shoes? Uh, I'm wearing some uh, Salomon uh, hiking <laughs> shoes. Salomon <laughs> hiking shoes. Yeah, those should be easy. By oh. the way, the uh, the image reference point for you, if you've forgotten, <laughs> is here. So how about, how make about the comparisons. It actually really works. This? No, no, that's no, that's not going to work for your. Um, oh shoes. my god, this is the coolest thing ever. Okay, right oh. there. Hey, there we go. That's work. That works. Okay. Yeah. And then when I'm done, I could save it, and then I'm gonna call this Jason. Oh man. And then you know you could tweet it out, of course. That oh, kind of, of course. Thing. I so would totally tweet that. So now you are out. in my little um, world of Androids. There's me. There's Jason. Hey. <laughs> Ron, you have to share uh, yours. I I, I want to be Hold able to hold that up to the camera. Oh, yeah, let's see. Ron! Nice. Sideburns, sideburns. I got a little thing. I, I, I got a parrot. parrot. I've oh, never seen a parrot, parrot on your on your uh, shoulder for this show. What some of you guys don't know is actually I have a pet parrot, so this is great. <laughs> actually, your parrot is the one that's talking. Yeah. It's not you. You've taught your parrot to sound like no, you. but it's cool. I, I, got a, I got a little hoodie, and oh, when you move it, it moves. And it moves. Yeah, yeah, it kind of moves. Well, cool. well, and then you can, you know, it'll wave. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God. I just changed my clothes. Check this out. Whoa, somebody just ran up and tagged you. They just tagged me. Whoa. Oh my God. I guess you could just change. There you go. Because oh, I'm tapping. Cool. I'm tap There's one that says, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then, oh, look at that. Can you send it to other people? Or can I, I send you can. mine? I think you can send it. So here's this. If you uh, see the cloud with the, and then you could just hear you my various share options. It. Share yeah. it. And so, you yeah. know, you can just pick your email client or whatever. I can tweet it out I'm later. One of your app. 20 Twitter apps to exactly. share it with. Exactly. <laughs> i got to put my red shirt back on, though. Oh, that's uh, cool. I will have But anyways, to play with that. I love this. Oh, oh, my God. Did you just see that? What's that? Oh, what is this called oh my arms got smaller. Oh, no. Okay, I'm messing up with my, yeah, I'm messing up my person. So now what are oh, these no. called? I mean, like Nintendo has Wii's and these are, these are, and, are these my Android or yeah, what are they called? Yeah, we're Androids. This is yeah. our Android. A Androitars? No, Android a, a, avatar, a, avatar, and Android tar. No, Android I tar. I don't know. I'm going to use that. Android dash tar. A T I R. Yeah. <laughs> Tweeting All it out. All right. Now that we've nice. had a lot of fun, maybe we could, you know, kind of implement that into our show open somehow. And then, you know, hmm. if we really kind of um, yeah, make ourselves. Take, yeah, make ourselves uh, an after Android. our own likeness. Export oh, that crap. and have a little. Uh, Autocorrect changed uh, Android tar to Android star. <laughs> Damn you, I guess that, that kind of works. Hey, yeah. autocorrect. There you go. That kind of works. <laughs> I just tweeted right. that out for you. So well, what else do we have here? We have well, words with friends. Words with friends. Do you know this game? Do you guys I've know heard words of this with game. Friends? I haven't That's played the it. It's the game that all the iPhone people are obsessed with, right? All the iPhone people are obsessed with, and I haven't actually um, made... There you go. Let's just show the marketplace. Uh, but that's actually now just released into the Android Market Store. And um, I, it is very addictive because you just spell names, you, then you challenge your friends, um, you know, new kind of Scrabble. 
But so is this, is this similar to the uh, the Scrabulous experience? Remember Facebook? We're all very similar. I mean, <laughs> yeah, way, but I, I just remember Scrabulous and Facebook. Facebook was exploding. Scrabulous mm -hmm. was kind of the game that everybody yep. played to leisurely, at, on their own schedule, compete with each other. And I got really addicted to it. And then, of course, they... You know, uh, they ended up pulling it uh, from from the from Facebook, mm -hmm. and I never actually got into whatever they replaced it with. But is this kind of the same deal? If I had the app, if you have the app, other yes. friends, it's We're just kind of like leisurely you log in and yes. make your next move, and then you're done until the next time. Exactly. I like it. Oh, so, so the, qu the question is, is that can you play people on the iPhone? Oh I yeah, don't good know. question. That would be good. Does yeah. anybody know in the chat room? Do you guys, have you guys started playing with anybody because, on the iPhone? Because that's the big thing with these applications. Like my yes. biggest, you know, it's the platform, uh, what, what do I call it? Platform discrimination. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, I like, know. In, like Instagram. Like I can't play along on Instagram because they're on the iPhone. Why want you can't Android play app? along yet. You yes, will. Exactly. I think yeah. you will. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know that they're working on it. They've mentioned anyway. Darn it. Well, I am just updating and maybe I'll find out in just a few minutes whether or not I can, can play with it. Can them. I just say the install yeah. from the Android Marketplace is awesome. Oh, my God. I love yeah. it. Yeah. It's so cool. It's I, the greatest thing ever. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to, you know, go look for it on your phone or attach oh, your amazing. phone or anything like that. No. Yeah, just install super word, words with friends. I think you can play with other iPhone users because... Mm, it's installed. Mm, because I'm seeing my previous games. From the iPhone? Yes. Oh, okay. I There's think. no reason why I can't not. I mean, I like, they're just user accounts, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'd... I think. You'd guess so. So, and I have, how, how, hmm. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to move into it. But now we should head into the arena. All right. So we're, we're going into the arena. That's it. Put on your, uh, your battle garb. <laughs> we're heading into the arena. We decided this week that we would talk about home screens because, mm -hmm. well, we all have one. Ron, uh, you, uh, you, it, it says here that you use Spark, and I've never actually heard of I Spark. Don't know Spark. Well, yeah, and I wouldn't say actually use it because the uh, the irony know. is that I'm boring again, and I don't actually use a, a, a different home screen. Uh -huh. uh, but I like to try them out, and normally I try them out and I test drive them, and then I throw them away because I just go back to the default one. Um, because I try to keep my phone at the default status for reviews and things like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, but Spark was interesting because um, what I thought was it was that it um, it takes it takes a different kind of approach to the home screen than some of the other ones that I played with those. Like I play I played a lot with a home and things like that. And it's really it's customizable, but not over customizable. Like it's really kind of and it's kind of easy to use. What it does is it breaks up your your screen into um, different uh, horizontal sections. So at the very top, there's the weather for whatever city you're in. Then there's a row for the applications. Um, and then there's a little news set, a news widget. Then there's a deals widget where they pull on Groupon deals, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a social there's a social widget where you can either post directly to Twitter or to Facebook as well as see your uh, Facebook or Twitter feed. And here, I'll, I'll hold it up so you can see it kind of, you know. Um, oh, okay. And it's neat because it's, like I said, it's customizable. Like I can choose what apps appear in the app row um, and I can choose what, you know, what... Uh, uh, whether I want the deal section or whether I want to even have Twitter or stuff like that in there, but it just keeps it really simple. And it just a lot of information that you find yourself going to immediately. When I look at my phone, it's like, okay, it's like, well, what's the latest tweet? What's the, you know, what is the weather like these quick kind of bursts of information and it, and it does it pretty well. So nice. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. It's free too. So it's even better. Oh, I, I love, love that. free. Absolutely. Yeah. Love free. If you, if you didn't have to keep your home experience bare for like the reviews and stuff, would you uh, hang with that one? Um, I, you know what? That's a good question. And actually I'm going to, I'm going to try this because it's actually, it was funny that this came up in the rundown because I was playing with this over the weekend for, uh, cause I'm, you know, doing some research for some upcoming uh, reviews on app judgment over on revision three. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we have stick with this one for like a week and see how, see how it goes, see how it, whether it hinders my use of it or what, you know, what kind of frustrates me or whatever. Right. And then I'll report back next week. How about that? So awesome. Sounds yeah. good. Well, Eileen, what do you have? Uh, apparently uh, than... I have a chocolate covered <laughs> strawberry from my husband. Uh, I want who that home screen. It. This is my Jealous. home screen. So if you see a blob of, Brown and something hanging out and on the table here on the on the. Long I don't know. Shot. It kind of looks like uh, Django might be. Uh, you mean Sawyer? Or so Sawyer? Sorry, Sawyer might be uh, be interested. Yeah. Well, he would die if he had this. So no. So you look sorry. away for a split look second. Look away. 
<laughs> um, okay. Actually, I should move it over too. Otherwise, yeah. you can't see my phone. Um, all right. In all honesty, I use, and I'm not going to really talk about this um, launcher. Uh, I use something called, woo, this is not it. This is what I'm going to talk about today first Ooh, is geez. Slide Screen Pro <laughs> Beta, um, which if you look at it, this is all it is. This is what you, you basically, here's phone, here's calendar, um, email, there's a weather, and then you just kind of slide it to see. Um, let's see here. Here's oh, Facebook, cool. Dow Jones. Now I'm having a little bit of issues with Google Reader for whatever reason. Right now, it's not playing nice. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't get it. But this is the look of slide screen. Oh, look at that. Look at head. I'm showing your uh, Twitter. Let's see if I can get back to. Okay. So is that still part of the integration of slide screen right yeah, there? Yeah, that is. Seeing? Okay. And then you can call. You just, you know, if you want to make a call. Some, oh, I missed call here. Oh, I don't want to show so is numbers. it kind of, it, it almost looks like an activity list of the last few things that have exactly. happened and updated on and your phone. And it gives you this, you know, nifty, you know, uh, user interface. Just a little bit different than other home launchers. Very different. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's the weather. Uh, I can go to Facebook here. Let's see. There we go. Graham hey, checked Graham. in at the Oralia Cafe. I know where that is. Whoops. I shouldn't do that. Um, oh, no. Everybody's going to go what's say the hi difference to Graham. What's the difference between the pro and the non-pro? Uh, there an app? There isn't. It's in beta. So I okay. would just get the the uh, pro, and right. um, it's free right now. So cool. um, I think that one. I like the little rainbow effect there on the yeah, side. Yeah, well, you can actually change the colors. They have uh, several preferences, too. Oh, look at that. See? Um, they have several different preferences. You can customize it, the colors to show the scheme. Yeah. So oh, I cool. use the default, but there's other default colors. Let's mm -hmm. try the light one there. Let's see what that looks like now. If I go back to it. This is not playing well with me today. There we go. There you go. Let me change it. It's just, you know, I, I was just really into, oh, this is all Twitter. I was just really into, uh, checking this out and, uh, seeing other alternatives. Yeah, I love that you. This is one thing that I really love about Android is that you can do this. That you yeah. can yeah. you can set it so that your home screen resembles nothing like what a home screen normally resembles on a phone. And uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can do that with other phones. I don't know if you can really do that with an iPhone without gel. I don't think it. you can. And like the thing, what I think, what I find so interesting about it is that it really changes the way you interface with the phone. But yes. it's through that common tool set. I mean, it's still through, you know, like like on Spark, it's a similar kind of vertical list like it is on slide screen. Mm -hmm. But I've got more horizontal kind of scrolling happening and things there like you. that. Um, you know, I, I think it's really it, it, it's it's not changing the phone dramatically in terms of the OS or the technology, mm -hmm. but it changes the way you use it, which is really cool. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, in all honesty, though, I I do use this home screen, and this is not going to be on our poll. It's called Zeme. It's free, and the cool thing about it is that it's a it doesn't like you said earlier, Ron. It doesn't over customize. Yeah. Um, and I sometimes I don't want too many choices. <laughs> yeah. I think that, that was. That was the problem with a lot of these launchers and home screens when they first came out. It was like, oh, we can do everything. So they just threw everything at you. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. now they're starting to get simpler. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what Zeme is. And they were kind of saying that they're one of the fastest home launchers. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I, and this is really kind of what my screen looks like. But I've been trying to switch over to a slide screen um, just to, you know, kind of see what that's like. But this is Zeme. That's not what I'm going to um I just want to be very transparent here. Like yeah. <laughs> I usually just go to Zeme. And maybe because, you know, when I pick, it's always at the bottom. My thumb is holding here, you know, I'm holding it. And I'm like, oh, I'll just pick that one. <laughs> and I customized <laughs> it in my own my way thumb. already that I that I like. So, yeah. um, but anyway, slide screen. Excellent. All right. And uh, let me switch over this little video input because I forgot that I had to do that. Um, let's see. All right. So the one that I use is uh, Launcher Pro. And I bought this a little while ago. Let me see here. I'll take it. I gotta get used to how this is this is tilted. The cool thing about Launcher Pro, I think, is it doesn't really do a whole lot necessarily if you don't want it to about uh, changing the way your home screen uh, works. You can do things like you can add four rows of icons down at the bottom, all fully customizable with different icons. You can place your own icon down there. You can do something really cool. This is just like a quick little. Uh, trick that you can pull with Launcher Pro. So I have my uh, my Dolphin HD browser down there. And for Tech News Today lineups, when I go into the lineup meeting, I programmed it so a swipe up on the uh, icon 
will launch my Tech News Today spreadsheet. So I don't have to open up the browser and Ooh, then nice. you know, cool. open up the bookmarks That's and blah, blah, blah. Cool. You can add swipe gestures to the icons and they perform actions. You could do that with the, uh, you know, with, with my Handsent app to where it will go right to a Compose IM uh, uh, screen and you can kind of get right in. Uh, it also comes with, if you bought the pro version, it also comes with a lot of different widgets. So you'll see your regular widgets, but you also see the launcher pro widgets and they're actually really high quality widgets. They do a uh, really cool integration with Facebook. Um, I haven't set any of this up by the way, so I don't know if it's actually going to, uh, pull in the way I hope that it will. Um, but it's, you know, there isn't a whole lot of customization that you can do on the, on the, uh, the display of it, and yeah, I haven't set it up, so that's why it's not showing anything. But they're really tightly, um, tightly programmed widgets. They aren't, they aren't flaky at all. They, they work really well. Um, and I use them every once in a while. But I, I honestly, I don't really use many home screens other than my main one. I just kind of store uh, shortcuts on the other screens. So I don't really have a whole big use for, uh, you know, a full screen Facebook widget. I don't mind launching uh, the application to do that kind of stuff, but. I like the cube effect there. That's pretty cool. The yeah, transition. yeah, it has a it has yeah. a lot of different um, visual elements that you can program into it. And actually, if you go to the preferences, you can kind of see. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize that I was <laughs> shooting into the light. I can't see a preview where I'm at. But you can see that there's a lot of customization. This is all of your widget settings. You can do uh, appearance settings and. You know, you can you can change the background on the dock. You can uh, program the home button to do different things. You can just do a lot of configuration if you really want to dive into it and, uh, you know, and change the look of, of it all and as well as transition effects and all that kind of stuff. A uh, set number of, of, uh, of home screens. It's just super customizable, but it doesn't have to be any more complicated than you really want it to be. And I highly recommend... Uh, buying buying the pro version, it gives you the access to the widgets, and really, it's only like I don't know, uh, I think it's three ninety nine or whatever. Mm. And uh, I, I would say my favorite thing about it entirely, especially working on Droid, which is uh, kind of slow, is that it's very fast. Like I don't really notice like a lot of times when you install these things like Handsent or, or these things that are replacements for the built in application functionality. Mm. They come at a price if you've got a slower performing phone. And yeah. this, like you pull up your application list and it's super snappy and it just looks really good well, and it works well, that's really the, well. Yeah, that's the one thing with these launcher programs that you need to remember is that yeah. it should improve your use of the phone. It should make what you do easier. Absolutely. And, you know, and I could see, you know, I could see arguments against, you know, different launchers where they've got too much stuff or it's harder to configure or stuff like that. If you can find one that works, it should improve the use of the phone. It shouldn't hold you back. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Totally agreed. So, um, so that is that. Let's see if I can get the uh, poll into the chat room here. It's poll.cm slash 775. And uh, you can let us know. We actually need to check in on our last poll uh, for last week. We had uh, the Twitter apps, and we might as oh, well throw this up and here. We should just mention that Twitter for Android got an upgrade since we yes. um, since we last Ironically, spoke last week. Like the and next day, right? Wasn't it, it looks <laughs> yeah, it totally was fantastic. It's gorgeous. I mean, it was a total UI overhaul. Absolutely, they completely it looks like the, the iPhone app. It. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And yeah. uh, congrats. I, I love it. Well, it's possible that that weighed into people's voting. Uh, it didn't. <laughs> the, the official oh, Twitter the app thing. came very close to ousting TweetDeck in yeah. the three apps that we covered wow. last week. I mean, the three thing votes. about the Twitter app still is that it, you can only do one um, one, one account. account. And uh, that's, that, that for me is a deal breaker. I'm it, sure is. it is. For it is for many people. So, so. Um, but the UI. Yeah, that's yeah. no, love that's great. It. That's great. Hot. All right, we are we are about to get uh get moved out of here, but I yes. just want to do one last thing here. Put up the email address, all about Android Show at gmail .com. You can leave us a voicemail. Now, uh, once this is a regular show, I'm sure we'll be getting a lot more. But this last week, we didn't get a whole lot of emails, um, and of course, no one had the voicemail number, so we didn't get any of those. But we'd love to to try out some voicemails next week and kind of see how we can play that into the show. So call three four four or three four seven show AAA. And I can't remember what those numbers are, but uh, there you go. 746-92222. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for checking, Ron. Yeah, that's no awesome. That's why you're here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's about it. We kind of did the emails up at the top of the show, we did, so we'll yeah. just leave it at that. Uh, so, Ron, thank you once again for uh, for joining us. 
My pleasure. Anytime. Yeah. And people can find me on Twitter at RonXO. Or and if you're into the comic books, go to ifanboy.com or graphically.com and check out what I do for a living. Fantastic. And, and don't forget to watch my Android reviews on App Judgment or revision3.com slash App Judgment. That's an important one. Right yes. There. Awesome. I, I, I've heard about that show. Yeah, uh, the yeah. format's a little wonky, but yeah, it's like, no, I love, I love, I just, I was in over the revision three last week filming some stuff. It's and nice. prepping some more reviews to go over there. So I just, I, I reviewed Jort Calendar. You can go check that. That came out. Uh, I saw your review of yeah. Jort Calendar, and I will say a plus because Thank you. I love Jort. But there you that's go. All I'm gonna say. All right, I guess <laughs> right we should on. just sign off. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on All About Android. I'm Eileen. Right. I'm Jason, and that is Ron. Oh. We'll, we'll figure out this the little yeah. intro outro thing. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> See you later. All right. Nice. That was Sweet. Fantastic. All right. Jammer B's like, I got to do this audio thing, blah, blah, blah. Ron, that was awesome. Oh, hey, no show next week because it is President's Day. Good. And I'm so, in New York. So that, that's good. So, yeah, I'm going to be recovering from Madrid and hopefully in bed asleep. All day okay. next Monday. <laughs> cool. So I'll throw, I'll throw up my calendar for the Monday after that. That would which be is awesome. The, the 28th. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And we'll come okay. up with the app thing that we'll do. We'll figure it sure. out. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll work on that. Thanks, Ron. Awesome. All right. Thank Have you, Ron. Day, guys. Bye. You too. Bye, Bye you everybody. Bye. We gotta go. Jeremy, uh, we got green tech today. We got some audio thing, and I'm going to eat my chocolate covered strawberry. Dun 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 dun. And All right. Take it away from Sawyer. Uh, yeah, but while I'm waiting for this file, uh, everybody Good like? Yeah. Good show. Yeah. What, what uh, did we? I want to go to Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Emails were at the top of the show. Yeah, we did a little bit different. Sorry. Because of the, the, the songs. Yeah. Because we, we were to trying that. to talk about the, um, the theme song. And we wanted to show mm -hmm. the theme song. Normally, you know. Mm -hmm. Like what Jason does with TNT, maybe we can just start the theme song and then go, Yeah, hey, we can do kind of a live. You know? Yeah, I would we love to do as much of this live to tape as yeah, possible. exactly. Um, um, what else? Any great show, great show. Uh, no, yeah, President's Day is next Monday. It is a national holiday for those of us in America. So we get a day off. And the that's right. Cottage gets a day off. And I will not be even in the Bay Area, so. Oh. Going to visit family in Idaho. I would have just returned. Um Hopefully in one piece. And uh, way more interesting than all. Oh, you guys are so kind. Um, let's see. Oh, what is Joshua? You're sending us a photo. Are these screen grabs of our show? Oh, I love it. Androfy. Oh, I got to tweet out my Androfy. Androidify thing. Um, what, uh, what did you send here? What up? Just to Androidify. His Androidify. Uh, root and rom yeah you know what um url wallace i think we're gonna save root and rom for the um actual show actual show yeah because we're gonna root my phone i don't want to do it twice i want to just do it once yeah the, yeah exactly there there might be some over overlap yeah some of that we, we're definitely way. gonna do launchers again we're gonna do Twitter because those again. are things that that i think that, uh people on mass uh you yeah. know that our android users would probably appreciate so we're mm -hmm. kind of like test driving these things here so sorry totally. if you see the same thing again but please but download yeah. <laughs> Again, even just We're download and then just scroll. Out. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs>